Hello friends, in the last video we learned about the balance sheet which is a very important financial statement of a company. Today we are going to learn about another important financial statement known as the profit and loss statement. The profit and loss statement or the P&L statement is also known by a few other terms like the income statement or a statement of income and losses. All these are the same and generally it's called the P&L statement. Now this statement, unlike a balance sheet, is a running account of a company over a period of time. Uh, while the balance sheet, as we learned last time, is like a still photo of a company as on a particular date. So what is the profit and loss account? The profit and loss account is a statement that tells you how the company made profits or losses over a period of time and what are the elements that contributed to this profit. A p &L statement is guided by a very simple equation. And the equation is profit is equal to income minus expenditure. That's it. And the whole of the p &L statement is nothing but an elaboration of this basic equation. Let us now understand what are the meanings of the terms income, expenditure and profit. What is income? A company does business. Whatever business the company does is done through documents known as invoices. Or bills. An income is nothing but a consolidation of all the sales that the company has made or all the revenue that the company has earned plus the revenue that the company may have earned through other means like selling of assets or income earned from financial uh, investments like investments in shares or investments in fixed deposits. So the sum total of all the money that the company has earned during the period in question comes under the title income. What about expenditure? Expenditure is all the money that the company has spent in producing goods and services which it has sold. This could be a variety of expenses like raw materials, in the case of a manufacturing company, salaries and wages, uh, it could be electricity and power and fuel that you spend on, it could be factory rent and a couple of other types of expenditures which are not uh, so easily understood like depreciation. Why is depreciation an expenditure? Because depreciation is an amount of money that is kept aside by the company for future contingencies like for example if you want to replace a machine or you want to do major repairs of a machine you draw this money from this fund which you have kept aside called depreciation so this also is deemed as an expenditure. So if you look at the profit and loss account, a profit and loss account gathers all the income, subtracts all the expenditure and finally what is left is either profits or loss. Now let's look at an actual profit and loss account. In a profit and loss account as you can see the top line is the revenue part or the income part. That's why when you say when you talk of the top line of a company you mean the sales it has made or the total revenue it has made. The next group of figures that you see are all clubbed under one common name called cost of goods sold or COGS. What is cost of goods sold? The cost of goods sold is the total amount of expenditure that the company has incurred in creating this product and service directly. Cost of goods sold would include things like salaries and wages, electricity, water, power, fuel, depreciation, all the, the expenditures we talked of in the beginning. If you subtract the cost of goods sold from the total income, you get a profit figure which is known as the operating profit. Why is it called the operating profit? Because it is not the final profit, it's only the operating profit at the factory gate. There are a lot of other expenditures that have still not been accounted for. For example, if you have marketing expenses or sales expenses, if you have expenses for your head office or some administrative expenses, all these expenses have not yet been reduced. So once you reduce these expenses as well, you get a figure called earnings before interest and taxes or EBIT, E-B-I-T. Uh, please remember uh, that the word earnings and the word profit are the same. They are used interchangeably in industry. So therefore, to repeat, a profit and loss account is nothing but a statement of the income and expenditures of a company and finally, the last line of the income statement is what is called the profit line or the bottom line. That is why when you talk of the bottom line of a company being healthy, 
What you mean is that the company has got a healthy profit. We must understand profits also in some amount of detail. Uh, the important fact to understand is that profits are studied at various levels. We talked of one profit called operating profit, which is the profit at the gate of the factory. That is all the expenditures that have been spent in creating the goods or service is reduced from the income. And this gives you a number called the operating profit. And from this, if you reduce the sales and um, other administrative expenses, you get a profit called the EBIT, E-B-I-T, or the earnings before interest and taxes. Now, from this, you have to pay interest. So once you reduce these, you get another profit known as the profit before tax or PBT or the earnings before tax or the EBT. From this, you pay the tax and finally you get a profit figure known as the PAT or the profit after tax, which can be used to distribute dividends to the owners of the company. So in a sense, a profit and loss statement is a very, very simple, but an important statement that tells you how during a period, the company has made either a profit or a loss. And what are the factors that have contributed to this profit and loss? As far as the period is concerned, there is no limit to what the period can be. Normally in a company, you look at the PL statement over a period of a year, but equally it can be looked at for a quarter or for a six month period or even for a month. A profit and loss statement along with the balance sheet tells you a lot of things about the company. And if these are looked at together, one gets to know whether the company is profitable or not profitable, whether the company has made profits through sales or the profit has been made through curtailing of expenses. It gives you a tremendous amount of information about the company. You will recall when we studied the balance sheet, we talked of schedules. We said that while the balance sheet has got uh, a lot of information, there is also something called schedules or notes in the balance sheet which explains each of the figures or terms in the balance sheet. Similarly, in a PL account as well, there are notes or schedules which will explain. For example, if you go into the expenditure part of the PL account, there would be a particular schedule or a note referred to. If you go to that particular note, it will tell you how this expenditure has come about. So therefore, if the figures in the face of the balance sheet are studied along with its notes or schedules, you'll get a much better idea about the company. We have understood two financial statements of the company, one the balance sheet, the other the p &L statement. And there is a third important statement known as a cash flow statement. Well, the cash flow statement tells you how money has flown into the company and how it has gone out of the company. So these three statements, when you've seen together, gives you a very good understanding of what the company is all about and how it has done its business over the last several years.